Well, testimony is underway now in the third murder trial for Antonio Armstrong Jr., who's charged with murdering his parents. Saturday was the seventh anniversary of the day Don and Antonio Armstrong Sr. were shot to death inside their Bel Air home. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining us live from the Harris County Criminal Courthouse. Domily. Yeah, this third trial that got underway today was actually supposed to start back in early June, but the Friday before, two spots of Antonio Sr.'s blood was actually found underneath a HPD visitor sticker that was stuck on the shirt of Antonio Jr. Now, that shirt and the visitor sticker that was still on the shirt, it was in the evidence room, in the HPD uh, evidence room, and uh, so prosecutors needed time to, to, pro to go through that and process that. Now, defense attorneys say it was likely cross-contamination that left that blood underneath the sticker. Both sides addressed that new blood evidence in opening statements. According to prosecutor John Jordan, Antonio Armstrong Jr. used his dad's gun to kill his parents in 2016 when he was 16 years old. Jordan says Don and Antonio Armstrong Sr. were parents at their wit's end dealing with the kid who was, quote, lying and scheming, according to the prosecutor. And Jordan said to jurors, AJ's mom even told him in a text message after he snuck out of the house, quote, AJ, the alarm doesn't lie, you lie. Defense attorney Rick DeToto put a cardboard cut out of a man on the witness stand and said to jurors, think of the alarm system as a star witness. If the alarm system didn't tell you the truth, what would your opinion be? Prosecutors point to a timeline saying cell phone and home alarm records show AJ is the killer. And they say AJ never mentions an intruder in the 16-minute phone call with 911, but later tells investigators he saw and was just about three feet away from a masked man leaving his parents' bedroom. Defense attorneys are again pointing the finger at AJ's brother, who suffers mental illness, saying he had access to the house. Defense attorneys told jurors, quote, so A.J. lied to his parents about going to see his girlfriend. He lied to his parents about grades. That's what they have. That's all they have. The defense wrapped up opening statements in this third trial with, quote, Antonio Armstrong Jr. is not guilty. Only you can stop it. Prosecutors end it with these words. At the conclusion of this trial, you may not know why the defendant killed his parents, but you will know beyond a reasonable doubt that he did it. So far today, two Houston police officers took the stand giving testimony that they were among the first to arrive at the double, double homicide, and they say Antonio Armstrong Jr. lacked emotion there. Now, if found guilty, A.J. Armstrong faces life in prison. This trial is continuing. The judge says she will go until 6 o'clock every day and resume at 8.30 every morning. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Domilee Keith, Fox 26 News.